Then now move the cursor left side 30. Enter. Then now I will press the escape command. And now I will press again space bar. And now I will click on this endpoint and move the cursor above side. Then 10. Enter. And now I will track this point from here to here. Clear? And now I will join it here. Hello guys. Today we will create these two drawings. So first we will create this drawing. So first we will go to AutoCAD display. And now we will create this drawing. So first we will take a line for 50 mm. So for a line L enter, I will use shortcut key of the commands. So L is the shortcut key of the line command. So L enter and click anywhere on your drawing area. And uh, I will take a straight line. To take a straight line, I will uh, on ortho mode. And uh, now I will take a straight line and 50 enter. And uh, I will press the escape button here. It's too small. I will zoom it. And now I will take a line command. So for line command, I will press escape button to bring back the last command. And uh, click on this endpoint. And move the cursor upside and 20. Enter. Then now move the cursor left side 30. Enter. Then now I will press the escape command and now I will press again spacebar and now I will click on this endpoint and move the cursor above side then 10 enter and now I will track this point from here to here clear and now I will join it here clear look here this drawing has been completed with the help of the line command. Now I will uh, check the dimension. To check the dimension, I will go to dimension option or you can go on annotation panel and click on this arrow. You can check here all dimensions. So now we have to check linear dimension. So we will click here, click on this point and click on this endpoint and this is a dimension 30 mm and now we have to press the escape bar to bring back the last command and now click here and click on this point and this is 20 and again press the space bar click here and click here clear like this we have to check the dimensions this has been completed look here these are 4, uh, 0 after decimal. So how will you take this? We will use the dimension setting. So for dimension setting D, enter. So for dimension setting D, enter. Click on this modify. And click on this primary units. And click on this Parisian. We will click on this arrow. And I will choose this which is 40 after decimal and after that we will click on leading and uh, now uncheck this trailing clear then ok then set current then close so like this we have to create it and now we will make the second drawing this is second drawing so now we have to create it so now we have to click on this line command or you can press L enter and click here and take a line 20 mm so 20 enter then move the cursor above side this is 10 mm so 10 enter and now we have to move the cursor right side 40 mm 40 enter and now we have to move the cursor down side and now we have to create this line so this total line distance is 110 so this line distance will be 50 so i will press 50 enter clear then now uh, move the cursor above side 
for 30 mm so 30 enter and now move the cursor left side 30 mm 30 enter and now move the cursor above side 415 mm to take a line 15 enter and now we move the cursor for 30 30 enter and now we will take a line for 20 enter and now we will press escape button and now we will create line from here so i will press the space bar to bring back the last command click on this end point and move the above side 90 enter now i will take a line 30 enter and now i will take a line 30 because the line here is of 50 and this is 30 and this line here is of 30 so this center line will be 30 so 30 enter then 20 enter then i will click on this end point clear and now we have to make this portion for that and enter click on this end point and move the cursor left side then 10 enter and move the cursor down side 15 enter clear now we'll press the escape button and again we'll press the space bar and click on this end point and move the cursor right side 10 enter and now we'll move the cursor down side for 15 enter clear and now we'll press the space bar to click on this end point and click on this end point like this click on this end point and click here then take a line l enter and click on this end point and here and now we'll trim it so for trim we are double enter and i will trim it so in this way we have to make this drawing and uh, i have already told you how to check the dimension so in that way you can check the dimension so thank you so much guys for watching my video